Hello everyone and welcome once again to Ajay's Educational Hub. In this particular tutorial, we are going to learn how to create a nested list. So if you can remember in my previous tutorial, we have already learned how to create an unordered list and ordered list. So these are the two types of list in HTML and we have already gone through it. We have learned about it. So in this particular tutorial, we are going to learn something about the nested list. Now, what exactly is nested list? A nested list is something that you create a list under some other list. So that is a nested list. Now, how to create it? So there is a sample code in front of you. It's a very simple ordered list code that I have typed and there are some around four items. So I'll just show the output for this first. So here is the output for you. As you can see, this is a simple ordered list. There are some around four items and I haven't specified the type attribute. So it's a by default, it's a, a number series that has been displayed. That is one, two, three and four. Now let's just see how to create a nested list. It's very simple. This is the first item. Under this item, you have to just give enter and start typing the new list. That is the opening tag of OL. That is the ordered list. And this is the closing tag now remember the opening tag and closing tag of the nested list before the item 2 begins so after that you can just specify the items like this is the ally tag that is a list item and i will type something like sub item sub item because it's an item under the it's a sub item under the item one so here it is and i'll just uh, copy it and um, I'll just paste it. Okay, I'll just give two items as at this point. So this is item one and item two. So this particular highlighted thing is the nested list. So we will just see the output for this. So here it is the output for you. Now this particular list, as you can see, it is sub item 1 and sub item 2. This particular list comes under the item 1. Now the confusing thing over here is, like both the ordered list is in the series of, that is the number series. So it's a bit confusing. So let us change the series of one of the list. I'll do it for the nested list. So I have to use the type attribute. I'll, I will specify the alphabetical series that is the small a so we will see the output now so here it is this is a sub list that is a and b which comes under the item one similarly we can do it for item two three or four so i'll do it for uh, one more for you so here is the code I will simply type this, uh, simply copy it and paste it. So here it is, I have just pasted it and the uh, rest of the things remains the same. So we will see the output now. So here it is, now this is particular uh, list, a nested list that I created under the item 1 and this particular list comes under the item 2 so this particular thing is called as the nested list similarly you can do it for 3 and 4 for 3 and 4 I have not given any any nested list so it has been displayed as it is now you can also use the combination like uh, I'll just tell you so this particular list is the ordered list now the nested list I can use it as unordered list and the type attribute I can use as square so that's the bullet so you will see the output for this now see as you can see this particular nested list it is the unordered list and this particular the outermost list is the ordered list this is one this is two three and four and the next nested list that is a and b it is the or uh, this is the ordered list but the series is the alphabetical series that we have used so this is how you can use the nested list i will show you the code once again to you so this particular item one when you type the item one of the outermost list 
immediately after that you have to type the entire code for the nested list this is the opening tag and the closing tag and inside that you can have the sub items and then start the second item that is the outermost list under that you can type the innermost list that is the nested list and you can use the combination you can use the outermost list i mean the ordered list for the outermost and the unordered list or vice versa anyhow you can do it so this is how you can create the nested list many of the students find it very confusing but it is not so you can just use the simple basic things you have to make it very clear and uh, as you can see it's very easy to create a nested list so this is how you can do the nested list so this is ajay so before i sign out it's a kind request that if you like the tutorial do subscribe to my channel there is a channel uh, i mean there is a subscribe button in front of you you can click it right away and subscribe to my channel there are many upcoming tutorials coming many exciting things and soon we are going to start with the c++ series also so stay tuned for that so as if now this is ajay signing off stay strong stay healthy and keep programming thank you